and local leaders and activists protesting the new Foxconn plant, saying the impact on Wisconsin might not be what Republican leaders say. NBC 26's Juliana Falk has more. Protesters joining together at Appleton West High School today with signs reading Foxconn, a bad deal for Green Bay and Appleton. This really is not an economic development plan at all, and we really call Trump's bluff. The protest happening as President Trump breaks ground a few hours south. Today is an exciting day for Wisconsin with the president coming in, the governor breaking ground down on Foxconn. State Representative Amanda Stuck believes this new development could turn into cuts in education, infrastructure, and natural resources. We actually are writing a check to Foxconn. It's not a reduction in taxes because they already don't pay taxes in Wisconsin. She adds the $3 billion going to Foxconn should be going to the people of Wisconsin. Tax money should not be going to billionaires. Republican State Senator Roger Roth says Foxconn will be a great thing for Wisconsin, bringing in an estimated 13,000 new jobs. He says a business in the area already sells to Foxconn in Taiwan. Imagine how much more they're going to be able to sell to Foxconn when they're right here in Wisconsin. Senator Roth adds the government is doing what it is supposed to do, adding more jobs across the spectrum. People here say they've been concerned about Foxconn since it was announced, adding they believe in investment and more jobs, but aren't convinced Foxconn is going to provide this for Wisconsin. In Appleton, keeping you connected, Juliana Falk, NBC 26.